Before we go ahead and start creating an intersection, we need to understand that there are some conditions. The main one is that an intersection can only be created between road strings. This is the only string type which will allow a connection. First of all, with respect to the alignments, we need to make sure there is no overlap or gaps between the side road and main road alignment. We need to make sure that the side road is snapped onto the main road. We need to make sure that we don't have an IP directly at the intersection, unless there is a vertical curve. We also need to make sure that we don't have any horizontal IPs or vertices, again, unless they're supported with a radius. The main road must be a continuous alignment. It must not be comprised of, say, two alignments. We have to make sure that we're creating a clean T shape. There may be a requirement where we want to create, say, an intersection on just one side of the road. We do need to make sure that the main road alignment extends past the side road alignment by a minimum of 5 metres. When we're creating uh, for a four-way intersection or crossroads, we also need to make sure that we have two alignments. It can't be comprised of, say, three or four separate alignments. We need to make sure we've got two full crossing alignments. Lastly, we've got a looped intersection. This is where a road string connects back onto itself, and civil site design won't allow an intersection for a road string that connects back onto itself. So what we need to do is actually have two separate pieces of alignment, and then we create two separate road strings. There are some valuable resources on our YouTube channel. The video for this is at the bottom of the module which explains how to manage loop roads.